So, my name is Vasa Churchin. I'm a professor of health informatics uh, at King's College London in the School of Life Course and Population uh, Sciences. And uh, my research area is uh, in uh, application of informatics technologies to medical problems. Now, I'm also one of the, the two directors of the Drive Health Center for Doctoral Training in Data-Driven Health. Now, in the UK, uh, the funding for PhD studies is organized through these large centers that host cohorts of students, which then work together, they benefit from peer-to-peer -peer learning, mutual support, shared uh, training, and generally exploiting the economy of scales. So, King's funded one such center for doctoral training four years ago as a small seed-funded pilot. This year, uh, UK's Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, EPSRC, awarded us a further £8 million to deliver 85 studentships over the next five cohorts. Data is at the core of healthcare. If you look at it historically, medicine started when we started collecting data when people started sharing uh, experiences saying, oh, this plant put on this wound will actually help. When that experience started being shared, and that was the first instance of using data and evidence in medicine. So use of data in medicine is nothing new, but what did change is that we are capturing more and more data. And uh, we are finding ways of using this uh, vast amount of data that we are collecting to come up with different treatments, uh, better improvements, and to manage that at scale. So data-driven health, really, is uh, the is application of all these, uh, all these technologies and all these methods that we've accumulated over the centuries with the technology and with the platforms that we have right now, enabling us to uh, deliver these solutions at an unprecedented scale. So from the population health uh, standpoint, uh, using these technologies enable us to uh, reduce inequalities and to ensure uh, consistent provision of care across the different uh, social, uh, economic, ethnical groupings in whichever country around the world we want to look at. Uh, we are planning right now 85 PhD projects over the next five recruitment cohorts. And now with every cohort lasting three and a half years, the final one starting in uh, 2029, we expect that in some shape or form we will exist until 2033. So it's a, it's a nine year commitment for us.